In 2017, real estate investor Andy Props bought his hometown bowling alley, Meridian Lanes, which also housed the bar strikers. I started my work history in the property management business. I had no desire at all to buy a bar or a bowling alley. I'm like the world's worst bowler, but I love all the things I heard about it and what it does for the community. So when the deal came to me, it seemed like a great way to get more involved in the community that gave so much back to me over, you know, 35 years. I don't know anything about the bar business. Uh, I've actually never had alcohol, nor prior to <laughs> buying this bar had I ever remember being in a bar. With no experience in the bar industry, Andy brought on retired Army veteran Roger Hare to manage both the bowling alley and the bar. For the last 34 years, I was in the military, United States Army. I retired in 2021 and then took on this job. I have a love for bowling. This is the bowling center that I bowled my first league in. Roger has a ton of experience being in the facility prior to him taking over. He came in and really understood how the bowling center worked. I think the bar is the newest thing for Roger to kind of get figured out. Double shot. When you have an owner as Andy, who is an amazing business person and entrepreneur with zero bar experience, and a general manager who's done a lifetime in the military, but without bar experience, we're running into none of our leadership knows what they're doing with the bar. It's kind of like the blind leading the blind. Both Andy and Roger struggled to give the bar a distinct identity apart from the bowling alley. With bowling and darts dominating the business, strikers became an afterthought. It's hard to get new customers because we have dart leagues going, we have bowling leagues going. So it'd be nice to see it be able to stand on its own. It needs a facelift to maximize customers. We're kind of stuck in the 70s, it feels like, with the decor and everything. On Monday, we each took home $36 on a five-hour shift. Baller. It's yes. been super dead. Now, with over $3 million invested but no profit, Andy is faced with closing both a bar and a bowling alley that has been a community staple for over 60 years. This place has been here since the 50s. It's so my wife and I, I mean, we've been coming here for 17 years. So it would be devastating to not only to my wife and I, it would be devastating to this community. Honestly, the number one reason I don't want to sell the business is the community and for my family. This community means everything to me. If Meridian Lanes and Strikers uh, close, I mean, personally, I'd be crushed. So Andy has decided to pull back the doors, bust open the books, and make a call for help to Bar Rescue. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.